Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to the ZMB Talks with me, your girl EDNA, the people's bay. <laughs> All right, so my guest today needs no special introduction. This is someone who's done a lot for Zambian music, Zambian entertainment, Zambian culture, and he just agreeing to sit down with me. Black child, I can say anything is possible. Download the My Ride Taxi app available both on the Google Play Store and Apple's App Store and get your desired ride in real time or schedule your ride at the desired date and time. Easier, faster, safer. Choose from a variety of rides depending on your need and budget. Premium ride if you want luxury, class and style. Or take a standard ride and still get there. Are you in a hurry or low on cash? Use My Ride app. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the key. Diesel! What up, 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 Long good. time. How you doing? No, not really long. But yeah, I'm not really long. <laughs> I saw you last weekend. Yeah. yeah, how you doing? I'm alright. How are you? I'm awesome. 2020, nice. how's it kicking you? Um, well, it started off on a very ugly note. Yeah. But yeah, we had to make our own ending. Mm -hmm. We had to create our own ending. Yeah. We love Sonda. Yeah. Where did the subject come from? Uh, from high school. What? So that's what. That's what. Um. So you know, coming up as a rapper, like a, as a hip hop artist, mm. we gave ourselves different names, mm -hmm. and we always looked for the ugliest name. That's for you. To, that was for you to sound mean, mm. you know, arrogant. Mm -hmm. You know, as a rapper, it had to go with the name, your persona, your rap style. Yeah. It had to go with the name. Mm. <clears throat> so I think I was called different names. I was once Biggie. Biggie. Yeah. Because I was a big, big, I was a bit chubby, chubby when oh, I was younger. Yeah. Wow. So people used to call me B.I.G. Mm. Biggie, Biggie. And I ended up loving B.I.G. so much. Uh, then again, it, it switched, it went to Omen. Omen? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Why, when you say Omen? Oh, no, no, not no, like Omen, oh, but like Omen. Omen oh, oh, as in a demon. Oh, yeah, okay, oh, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, it switched, it went to, you know, uh, Slapdash. You know, oh, really? slap dash, that meaning has to and careless. Oh. Um, then, you know, the kids, some of the kids at my school couldn't pronounce that right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they started calling me slap D, slap D, slap oh, D, slap D. Okay. And my friends were like, look, it sounds dope anyway. Oh. I'll just you slap down the rhymes. Oh, <laughs> now that makes sense. So when I got done with high school, I think I knew back in high school that I was going to be an artist. For real, my yeah. uncle told me that he oh, said he you, you were yeah. you were That's really from, good in school. From read from from class, I could you know when my friends were writing down notes on the mm. board, I was writing down lyrics. And one thing he also said that you're really smart, well, book smart. Mm, I try, <laughs> I try. <laughs> you try. I mean, I'm not dumb, but I'm not the smartest guy. Uh, too, so. Nice. Since you started with school, let's talk about your education. You went to Chikankata yes, with did. the likes of Sutu, yes, Hamoba, yes, Karasa. Yes, ma'am. I promised my uncle I was going to say Peter Chalera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Peter, then shout out Peter. He's always talking about the, your good sense of humor. Yeah. People people don't see that about Slap Demon. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And back in high school, were you really friends with these guys I've mentioned, or maybe it was just that type of thing? Um, Chikankata. Chikankata High School mm. is owned by the government, the government school owned by, partly owned by the Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's correct to say, but I think something like that happens. Okay. Okay. So, um, there's a lot of music in the Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. If you've been to Salvation Army, you, you know that there's a lot of music that goes on yeah. in church, a lot of drums, a lot of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, I think a lot of people that were musical, like naturally musical, mm -hmm. uh, sort of adapted and blended in well okay. with the rest of the, the programs. Mm. The school, you know, school choir, you had the school uh, morning devotion. Mm. Every morning, every morning, imagine this at night, every morning wow. you had morning devotion. You were allowed to sing songs, you know, some of us just wow. used to make, you know, hit the, oh, we were borax, we used to mm. call them borax. borax. You know, drum the borax, stuff like that. So uh, I think that also influenced us to become who we are now. Okay. Hamo also, you know, showed me a lot of things. He was like a couple of grades ahead of me, two oh, grades. For real? Yeah, when I was in grade 10, he was in 11. So, nice. but, and he was a prefect. He was my house captain. Shout out Hamo. 
this guy used to literally pull me out of class. Like, oh, he would walk in like, you know, like I was being punished or going mm-hmm. for punished. He'd walk in and go, I'm looking for a fake, you know, a list and go. When I'm Sonda, and I'm my other friend, David, I just have car. You both step outside. Then the class would be like, ooh, mm-hmm. you're getting it. Yeah. Follow me. Mm-hmm. All the way to his cubicle, lock it up, start blazing, ah! beats and start freestyling. <laughs> Are you for real? I'm being serious. Hamawa actually, you know, helped me a lot. In my, Seriously? In my, yeah, yeah. Are you still cool with him? Too much. That's my that's my brother for life. For life. For life. Nice. Yeah. Interesting. Let's bring it back home. You never hide it. You're from Matero. Yep. You rep your city, Metro City. Yeah. But there's so many things that happen in Matero. Yeah. And seeing a superstar like you come from, not that it's not possible, it is possible. Definitely. But I'm talking about issues like drug abuse, yeah. you know, did you really partake in that? Or if not, how did you manage to stay away from it? Well, for me, it was like, like I said before, I wanted to make music, rap music, mm. from the word go. So even from the jump, I knew I wanted to do this. Mm. And it stuck in my head. Here's the thing, and I'm just saying this to encourage or push someone out there. Mm-hmm. You need to have an attitude of knowing what you want. Before mm. you get it, you can't rest. Mm. You mustn't be able to sleep at night before you achieve. Nice. If you do manage to sleep peacefully at night, then there's a problem. Wow. Then you're in a sort of a comfort zone. I always, I always like think of it as you know, comfort zone being a prison. Mm. Like ah, oh, nah, in Africa, you know that's a common thing. Mm. You get a little money, ah, oh, you're relaxed. Yeah. You get a little this, ah, oh, you're relaxed. You get a little fame, ah, oh, you pull back. For me, it's about challenging myself. Every other day presents a new challenge. Who am I going to challenge? What am I going to do? Mm. Who's the best? I want to yeah, be the best. I want to be better than them. True. Yeah. So, um, growing up in material didn't really affect me. Mm-hmm. For me, it's actually it was actually something I looked at as a, an opportunity. You know, that was content for me. Mm-hmm. I wrote those songs. Some of those songs, you know, yeah. sing that lifestyle, watching. Mm. My first album was highly inspired by Matero. For real? That's why I'm forever great. My second too, you know what I mean? For real? Yeah, because you know, you used to see, you like this girl, and she doesn't even look, <laughs> she doesn't even look at you that way, man. First of all, you're broke, you're ugly, no move, no vision, nothing, you know what I mean? And this. Bus driver, there used to be these these buses. Uh, we had these buses down in the way called the cage. Was it the cage? It, anyone from Matero will tell you about the cage. All right. They were loud. They used to pick up Matero girls and whatnot. Uh. So in my street, I lived in the main street, off the main street rather. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So every day we saw these buses. Mm. I'd stand there, you know, just looking at the Matero girls like, wow. Wow. And this bus driver just pull out, pick up one of them, and you know, easily just take just them like anyway. <laughs> so in my head, such stuff is just like, okay, that's content. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, okay, maybe I should write a song about that. Yeah. It's different hustles. The fact that we had to walk to get water and containers yeah. every morning, every other day. Mm. I mean that. You get stories while waiting for containers to fill up. You get people talking and you mm. listen to all this stuff. Also, this is what they're thinking. Oh, yeah. let's do this. So yeah, Montero shaped too. Nice. So um, one of your songs with, with Mark Forty Four, you guys were telling a story of how you used to walk yeah. in the window. Yeah. But I want to get it from you. Did you grow up in the same house with mom and dad? Oh, it was just an uncle. Me and Mark? No, like yeah. You, you oh me? Mark, yeah, you. No. So we both lost our our parents when we were young. Ah. Yeah. So what kept you going? Like? What kept us going was, um, like I say, the environment we were in. Mm. And also I just feel like we were a different generation. Okay. Uh, as opposed to the generation before us, mm-hmm. our older brothers came up in a different kind of vibe. Yeah. You know, so we sort of saw their mistakes and learned from them. Yeah. yeah we watched what they did wrong, mm-hmm. you know what really messed them up and I'll be very honest with you alcohol um, the sex the drugs mm-hmm. it did it did sort of mess up a lot of my big brothers mm-hmm. um, and so me and Magnus were from are from a generation that's just right after that ah. you know what I mean so luckily we saw we learned a lot watching them make mistakes like that 
um, not to you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just yeah. a hustle, man. <laughs> it's like okay, I, I don't, I don't have much, but I want, I want to achieve. So uh, let me push. And let's continue yeah. going. Yeah. Fast forward. How did you meet H Mark? H Mizo. Mm-hmm. H Mizo. What if you always put a Mizo, Jizo, <laughs> someone's name, a Dizo, H Mizo? <laughs> Uh, but that's what we call him, but they're in the studio. We call oh, H Mizo. Mizo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Can't even remember. Man. For real? How? Oh, actually, uh, H had been working with one of my colleagues mm-hmm. in the business. Yeah, been at that. I think they didn't really work well together. Mm. But I was watching him. You know, everything that he was doing was really. I was watching his work ethic. Mm-hmm. Uh, H is a pusher. I know, like a lot of people have seen H Mark now. They know H yeah, now. I'm one of the people that know him now. now. Yeah, yeah, but I'll tell you something. H has been pushing since the day I met him. Interesting. Like without before the money. Interesting. I was joke jokingly telling him now, like Munasi, like Munze want to tell like that. I was jokingly always joke about this. Yeah. Like yeah, I got the H name because Pumula. That's Pumula the J. Like his work ethic, I can't even. I would say I would compare it to mine, but that would be braggy. Um, but I think I, his work ethic. Is that of a person I've never met? For you, I hear he's smart too. That's why he's on your team. So that's the other thing. He's really smart. Nice. And also he unders- he understands the business, mm-hmm. the music business. Mm-hmm. He loves sports. For real? Yeah. He what do you sport. love? I love. I love music. Food. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> Didn't we go there? Food, man. Uh-huh. I eat a lot. Okay. Yeah, but that's besides the point. Um, mm-hmm. So H, the day I met him, um, I needed him to do a job for me. Okay. Because I figured he wasn't working with the other guy, so mm-hmm. I was like, okay, ah, let me holler at him. Mm-hmm. I needed some CDs delivered. It was this age of CDs that time, and CDs were really mm-hmm. you needed CDs for everything, promo CDs, CDs. or d- CDs. So I needed stuff to be delivered, CDs to be printed and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So he came through, he was like, yo, can you give me this, can you get this job done for me? And that was like 10, 11 years ago. Yeah. Um, I was in Chilenja, I was living in Chilenja. I had a house in Chilenja back in the day. So mm-hmm. we pull up, we had the studio there. And it just, to be honest, we never really sat down to speak about it anything for real he came through with a bag and he's like yo what do you need to get done i told him okay yeah we're going to start with this i need this cd so many cds pop up pop, pop, this delivered to this radio station mm-hmm. i'm pushing this song right now can you push this and then he just started like that ah. we never ever sat down to say oh this is how we're gonna work oh this, this is, is what we're now. Gonna do now just like that it's been three companies after that We've set up three companies together. For real? Yep. Before I get to your investments, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about what's trending on social media right now. Um, Bobby posted something on his Twitter to say he's never seen you pin down a vest. Oh. <laughs> Is that true? He's a, maybe because me and Bobby don't really, you know, record a lot together. Oh. Yeah, so I get that. But yo, <laughs> um, so, and then the other thing is, Every time he's in the studio and I'm recording him, uh-huh. it sort of happens that I'm not writing. That you're not writing? Yeah. Oh, okay. But that doesn't mean I don't write. I but do you, write. But sometimes you just freestyle. Well, most of the time. To be very honest, most of the time, I feel like... I feel like writing... Um, writing to me, this is what it does to me. Mm. I mean, and I'm not saying it's for any other rapper. Like, mm-hmm. this is how I feel. When I start writing, mm. I feel like I want to perfect it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like, oh, now this needs to sound deep. Like Kimbo Kumate. As opposed to... <laughs> <laughs> as of, I wrote that. You wrote that? Let us talk. Let us As opposed to when... So there's music where you feel like if I wrote this song, it would be too deep for and average, you know, mm, Zambian, Zambian. exactly. Mm. Who are um, that's our main target. You don't want to. Mm-hmm. A few songs here and there, yes, you want to 
But most of, on this album, to be specific, mm. I was dumbing it down. Mm. I, I was trying to dumb it down the best I could just to reach every corner, everyone, you know what nice, I mean? Yeah, nice. Yeah, so I do write. Um, um, but except I think Bobby has <laughs> <laughs> has always pulled up in the studio and I'm not right. A couple of people, even Thaga said that. Um, a funny thing is he found me recording that. There's a song with my son, Zamani. Zamani, yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, I didn't write Zamani any of that. Zamani was one that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't write that? No, I didn't. So when he came to record, we were doing a song that night. Wow. And he pulled up. I was like, yo, do you want to chill? Let me just finish mm. this song and then we can start our song together. Yeah. He was like, cool. So the guy pulls out his phone and he's like on his phone, not knowing he's tweeting. <laughs> so I just watched the did do a whole verse without writing. So I was recording and it was right there on his phone. And then I'm done. I'm like, okay, let's, let's start. <laughs> Pull out my phone. Ooh, Twitter. What did you do? He's like, nah, don't blame me. Yeah. So yeah. Nice, nice, interesting. By the way, I was really happy to see you in Five Kid. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, that's my boy. Um, that's my blood. You know what it is? Mm. It's like sometimes you fall out. As real people, real grown men, Mm -hmm. you don't fall out forever. True. You know what I mean? You can't. Uh, Me and Ralph have been uh, been together for years. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's beyond music. Yeah, it's 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 brotherhood. Mm. Uh, People don't get rough. Some people get him. Uh, some things, there's things that Ralph knows about me that, that nobody, nobody, knows. nobody will ever under. There's a way he understands me, but nobody ever will. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you sort of miss that. Yeah. That's all we look for in a friend. Yeah. Somebody that understands. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, no word. You're sitting, the there days when I'm sitting with Ralph in a whole meeting, he'll just look at me. I. Cigarette break, he will be like, yo, niche. I'm like, niche. And everybody thinks you're okay. Yeah, everybody will be like, hey, hey, hey. And he'll be like, niche. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's my boy for life. Nice. Interesting. Before we get to the album, let's talk about your investments. Like, these so... You say it like there's yo, millions to be. Either ways, but at least you're trying. I was telling Bombshell the other day, I'm like, if the females yet doing it, the male slap is winning. Yeah. How do you manage to get the endorsements? Is it because of the name that has you know, stood the time? Uh, different endorsements require different uh, uh, require di- different uh, different kind of approach. Yeah. Different, every campaign has its own approach. Yeah. I guess I'm just uh, I'm not gonna say I'm the best. That would mm-hmm. be that would be blowing my own horn. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I work hard. True. You know what I mean? I, I, I push. I, <laughs> and when you push, it shows, man. You can't cheat the hustle. You can't. You, you can't. can't. You know, you can't. It all ha- it needs to add, add up at the True. end of the day. So you work hard, you get money. You True. don't. You don't. Because you don't get money. You don't money. get the money. Yeah. True that. Um, speaking about the hustle, you know, we, we also managed to get a cut deal with my wife. Oh, yeah. The other bigger, us here. bigger, bigger, bigger. Big up, big up. Shout out to my ride. My ride are actually doing the most. They are doing the yeah. most, especially for yeah. our artists, you know. For everyone, they've been doing the most for me as for well. For real? Yeah. So Interesting. I didn't know that. Appreciate them. Nah, they are good people. Shout nice. out to my ride. <laughs> Shout yeah. out my ride. Uh, okay. Um, before I get into the album itself, um, you know, speaking to you is like speaking to the XYZ team, speaking to the fans and everybody else. I'm representing the fans. Um, I just want to say my condolences concerning Dave's death. I didn't have the time to tell you that because everything, when you have a new song, I'm always the one calling you, <laughs> texting you. I'm like, yo, this is dope. Yeah. But that moment, the first person that came to my mind was Toaster yeah. because I knew Dave to Toaster. Through Toast, yeah. And seeing you put up that um, Facebook status to say, why is it always me? I'm like, oh yeah. man, there's somebody who's also suffering with that. Yeah. Meaning it's that D. So I'm really, really sorry, my condolences. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Thanks a lot. I want to find out, how did you receive the news? Where were you at that time? Where was that? <clears throat> so I was... I was... Oh, I, I think I was having a drink. <laughs> it was a, It was a Sunday. Mm-hmm. I was having a drink somewhere, Tongali. Mm-hmm. My friends, my mm-hmm. friends had called me over. Yo, we're just hanging out. As boys, do you want to pull up? Yeah. And one, so we drove there. And yeah, we were chilling there. You know, as we were chilling, I just got a call from H. 
It's like, yo, they very much did. Like, what? So the first thing that hit me was like, oh, accident. It'll be fine. You know, yeah. it's probably, yeah, they bashed the car somewhere yeah. or something. So I'm like, oh, okay. <sighs> Don't we all go through that every yeah. day? What's up? What's the... But the way it was sounding was like, um, and they say somebody's died. Yo. So like, wow. Again, I'm like, okay, too bad. It's not Dave, right? Yeah. And then again, it's like, um, I don't know yet. So now it keeps like, oh, okay. It's weird now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but let me confirm. So calls me back in 10 minutes. Yo, ah, somebody's died and another person has died as well. So we don't know. So now it's like, ooh. Pressure, you know what I mean? Like Pressure, sweaty palms. Yeah. I'm like, what's the going on? So, yeah, no, definitely, man. We had to, so now, the boys, I haven't told anyone of the boys, any, any of the boys that I'm on the phone walking around. So, you, you which kiki kid. So, I don't know why. Maybe you should have up at my phone. Wow, yeah. you know, jokes like that. So, I come back. I can't break the news yet because I don't know. Don't know so, I'm chilled. Sure. I'm like, oh. Third call, I didn't pick up. Because I didn't want to hear any bad news, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was already bad. Yeah. I didn't want to hear like anything worse. Age mm. calls me again. Texts me and says, pick up. Fifth time I pick up and he's like, I think we've lost Dave. Hey man, I just dropped the phone. <sighs> Yo, my condolences again. Yeah, dropped the phone and yeah. It was crazy, man. It was from there. It was just something still else. unbelievable. Mm. Yeah. And I love the fact that you say all, all the proceedings will go to Dave's family. Yeah. And I love the fact that you emphasize to say it is not a donation. No. It's so not. Why did you have to emphasize on that point? Because somebody out there would assume, oh no, he's first of all he's donating. Mm-hmm. Secondly, they would start. I'm uh, thinking, why are you telling us that? Yeah, you know what I, mean? I feel you. So for me, that was just like to make it clear. We we all Dave a lot. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We all his family lot. Um, a lot of care. Don't you rush me back? I do not king guy. We all Dave's family. We all Dave. Uh, protection of his legacy, uh, respect to his name. Mm. We owe him that. You know what I mean? Dave was an XYZ soldier. He fought throughout his life. Yeah, you know, he, he, he fought to put the label where it's at now. Mm. So um, our role is just to forever protect his legacy, his family, and his name. Mm. That is interesting. Um, how, how, how's the album doing so far, Mrs. Sunny? Is it mm. good? Do you check? Or I haven't, did you I haven't checked the... Well, H checks. H mark checks that, I'm pretty sure. But I haven't, I haven't really... I haven't checked it. Oh, yeah. I have okay. some receipts here. I, I, oh, I yeah? got it. I oh, got it. I made you. sure. Thank I'm you. like... Put it here. Put I just did... Boom. Put it here. <laughs> respect. And respect to everybody that's coming Yeah, true album. that. But um, then the people who are still being people, being yeah. dubious, you know, trying to leak it in yeah, all the WhatsApp yeah, groups. Yeah, like yeah. yesterday, there's this group, I mean, Kademo's um, group, he created this yeah. fan group. Then this guy, he's a bit happy, like, it's a Disney album. Yeah. Like, why? Why are you doing we that? We don't want that. Yeah, I know a he couple would, of, you see, that's why we do stuff. And that's why, you know, blogs like Zamian Music Blog, like this, mm. are quite huge. True. Because they, it's, they take it as their responsibility. Mm. to not just kill the artist. True. They respect and understand what the entertainment uh, entertainment business is like. Yeah, true. But there are other, you know, douche, douchebags like ZWAP, ZWAP.com. We're on you, man. We're looking for you right now. We'll find you. And a couple others. I won't yeah. go into their names. But deal with them for you. Because people just say, no, it's not just for Slap D, it's, it's not just for the whole industry. It's for the whole industry. The and whole you culture, see, you know? when, when artists start making money, the bloggers start eating. 
The GJs true. start eating. True, true. Everybody, the producers start buying nice cars. It's not mm. just for the artists, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's for the entire industry. Mm. So don't blame it on anyone when, you know, they, they catch you and crucify you. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're trying. Everyone's trying. You know, already in Vesasani, just as in Vesasani as a company, as a company, they're, yeah, yeah. they're eating. Yes. Know what I mean? Yeah, and they're, they're making eating. sure I start from everyone. Yeah. Vesasani eating. So and so is eating. Mm-hmm. This one is eat. Everybody must Everybody eat. The must producers eat. of the uh, album must eat. Mm. The people in the background. There's a lot of people in the background. Mm. The designers. You know. You know what I mean? The features. Mm. that need to get something. Before I ask you about the songs, how long it took you to record this album, let me appreciate you on this. You stayed true to yourself on this album. Yeah. You didn't try to move, say, okay, what's popping now? Like, what's yeah. there? You didn't try to do the Ama piano. Yeah. You didn't try to do the pop, the pop smoke type, you know? Yeah. You brought us back home regardless, yeah. and you gave us the, you gave us a heartfelt project. Mm. That's what I think about Matang. I, I don't know about you, but yeah, that was like a heartfelt definitely, project. Definitely. How long did it take you? So I've been recording two years now. Yeah, two years. But here's the thing. So I think half the music that was supposed to be a mother tongue didn't make it. Oh wow. Yeah, because of what just exactly what you said. So some of the music, like I said, I wanted to dumb it down on this mm. album. You know. And you I, want I got a lot it. of a lot of comments like, oh, I miss so che. Mm. You know, your album so che. Mm-hmm. Oh, I miss true story. Mm-hmm. So I I sat down and thought, you know what, we're looking for an album when we already have like a template album. We've got like three template albums. Wow. Let's make an album that people will relate to. Mm-hmm. Let's not go for the sound. Mm. If you listen to the album, we've worked with, you know, young producers. Yeah, I was coming to that. Miles came along as a new, brand new producer on the scene. Lange as is Lange is a new artist. Alicia Long, maybe. Alicia Long has been making music, but mainstream he's really new and you know what you caught me on this one again on this album because people like say no slap d doesn't like putting people on because you don't share anything like oh check out this guy check it. I mean, that's why people that's yeah. where that comes oh yeah let me explain that as well mm-hmm. my idea of putting somebody on mm. is putting somebody on till they're independent enough to put somebody else on mm. sharing your song is not putting you on bro and also check this out if i share your song today edna and tomorrow this guy comes and says share my song <laughs> and i don't share it <laughs> it's gonna be a problem yeah you know what i mean yeah um it's gonna be a problem yeah so i always look at giving somebody a fishing line mm. rather than giving them fish mm. you know what i mean i can only share so many songs but you hear that a lot you get that a lot Nick? well i've heard it from look does that bother you sometimes? It doesn't at all. Because <laughs> I know who I've put on, man. I know how many people in the background. I don't need to show it that I'm helping you. Mm. You know what I mean? And also for people doing that, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. You can share as many people as you want. Mm-hmm. But don't blame the other guy that's not doing it. For me, it's like, how can I put you on, on? Mm. So when I come back to you and say, yo, do you want to help me out with this, 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 this? It's undoubtedly yo let's do it let's do it sharing a song music a cover what That's does what it people for real i feel like it's not even doing a collab some people think oh he will give me a feature yeah you also get that you hear that can she <laughs> oh it's not getting stingy with features uh, first of all bro listen my scarcity depends on Musically, scarcity depends on how many features I'm doing. Mm-hmm. If I'm going to release an album this year, I must turn down on the features. Mm. That's how the business works. True. Period. True. I cannot feature the whole Z and then put out an album. Because mm. it will be like some of the music that I feature on will sound like some of the music on my album. Mm. Then what happens? An album will be the same. That's how you get artists. And then the same people will come and ask, how do you make it this long? Because I monitor all those things. Mm. I won't jump on every show. If, I'll tell you right here, right now. Mm-hmm. I've got features by big artists that I'm not on. I honestly just say I can't jump on this. For real? With all due respect, I won't jump on this. It wow. Change the song or... I don't know, man. Just Then wow. we can't work. Wow. So I've gotten a lot of you know negativity from that, mm. but I understand it's also protecting my brand. Yeah, you know what I mean. Sure. That's how I stay 
relevant this long. Mm, what has kept you going, King? This, one this is what you. I'm explaining to you. Yo, Are you not man. listening? <laughs> 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 you know, <laughs> making the right moves. You need to look around. Yeah. Okay, if I step on that, this might crumble. So let me just step in the middle and stay. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the little things really matter. Do you, I, one thing I'm, I've noticed again, I feel to some extent, you prefer working with people if you also have that natural relationship with them. That's also a thing for me. Yeah. So for me, it's chemistry. It's chemistry. Do we vibe? Exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? I'll this? give you a collab. It won't mean much if True. it's just a collab. True. I'll also give you a collab if the song is really dope. Mm-hmm. Like, there's songs that are undeniably nice. Mm. You hear it, you're like, wow. Mm-hmm. I'll jump on that easy, easy, easy. I'll enjoy working on it. Yeah. You send me a song, it could be paid for. I'm telling you right here, right now. Mm-hmm. It's a whack. I'll you do it because, case, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll probably do it because H is on my case. <laughs> oh no, we need to get that feature done. You know what I mean? But deep down, I'll tell you the truth. I'm not feeling it. Wow. Yeah. And so, also, there's chemistry when you work with people. Mm-hmm. You get into the studio. You vibe. Mm. I told you Chandambao didn't really have to. I never really met Chandambao that much before we did that. Mani. Mani. He sent the song. I heard it once. I thought, this is the direction. It's too much. Mani. 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 Because I was loving it. I was like, oh, this is my song. I would dance to this with or without me on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I mean when I say we need to have a vibe. Like mm. at least let's be close. Yeah. If it's gonna be like a weird collab, bring it. But it shouldn't be too weird. Too again. weird. You know what mm, I mean? Nice. Speaking about vibes, I see how you and Musisa get along. Yeah. You know, you she invited you over to her house. Yeah. How did you record Savuka? Um, for a long time, people wanted us to collaborate. Mm-hmm. We couldn't find the best song to do it. Ah do the collaboration on so we I found I got a I was making a song actually okay nothing to do with this issue, with mm-hmm. Mac 44 oh yeah yeah I was making beats and one night one night in the studio at my house actually we were recording from mm-hmm. my house um that was in the hook when they both fly the hook was, I think you were too nice. No wonder I could uh, da, 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 uh, something like that. I think you were too fine. No wonder I could delay that. So, uh, some crazy stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I didn't have the entire hook. I didn't have the full hook. Mm-hmm. What I had in mind was like, I think a, a, a girl would be nice on this song. On song. So I was singing Trina South. Uh, we even got Trina South the next day. Mm. Pulled up. Mag 44 didn't show up. Wow. So. She bounced and we arranged for another day. Uh-huh. The next day, Mark Full Four came through. He was like, ah, do you know what? I'm I'm just not feeling this book, man. Yeah. No. How about you change this to uh-huh. He also didn't have the words. Hey. I'm like, ooh, that that's works. The ooh, that's the one. <laughs> So Hello, now, I'm trying to call Trina and it's late. I'm like, yo, can you get in the cab? I think she didn't pick up or something must have happened. Uh. I, I think I was calling... Somebody plugged me to Trina, actually. So you're calling the flag? Yes, I was calling the flag. Can you get out to the studio right now? Because uh. yeah, we were super excited. Yeah. Then he just stops it, man. So I'm like, yo, keep playing it. He's like, yo, what if you just get pussy on this? <laughs> I'm like, hmm, for real? Because I'd written the Walipa fly. What's Velele? like, forgive them. Oh. Okay, okay, cool. So I was like, oh, okay. This is why. He's like, yes, just get up on this. Mm-hmm. But now to take time, I'm super excited right now. It would take like a month to uh. get on it. Like, no, just, you know. I said, okay, let me record it. I recorded it, then mm-hmm. he pitch shifted my voice. Okay. To sound like, you know, like a female. Mm. But let me fly, I'm gonna capella. Yeah. I sent it to her. Sent it in the night. In the morning, she was like, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> voice note, she sent me a V and she's like, yo, dude, I'm coming to Lusaka next week. So perfect. Wow. She came through for the Absa event. Right after the event, we went to the studio, mm-hmm. recorded. Um, 
she had a hassle learning the bimba but she got it eventually you told her and yeah 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 <laughs> she got it i'll share some footage with you so okay, cool. she, eventually she got it and then yeah so then the next weekend she was coming again wow that's the time you shot the video yes so she's like yo i'm coming wah, 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 wah. so maybe you just do you know this and that 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 that, that, that. We prepped for the video and she came through. We shot the video. Nice. Now let's talk about my favorite song on, on, on the album. Mm. Moto. Ah! Guys! Then some back him to include you on your own yeah, song. Yeah. Cool, cool. Ooh, I don't mind. <laughs> Actually respect that. I remember telling me, t- you telling me, so, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. And, uh, you know, yeah, but someone in the song is yeah. supposed to kill you. It's supposed it? to kill you. Yeah. How, how, how did you get the collab was fixed together? Some by J Rocks. J Rocks, I needed, so when we did, Jamie and J Rocks had a song on his album. Um, what's that song? The J Rocks song. Um, Everything in Muchi Kwa 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 Kwa. Yes, <laughs> yes. When he sent me that, I recorded, then while shooting the video, I just listened to it. I was like, this is how dope this song is. Yeah. Hey, to the flower, to the flower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was like, yo, Jay, do you want to write me a song like this? Just for the album. Like, I'll keep it and then I'll work around it. It's like, yeah, man, why not? And like, I'm not even exaggerating. Two days late, send me a song. I thought I told ya. Physically, yeah. nobody. I was like, goosebumps. I was playing it in the car. He was like, yo, have you heard? I've sent you something. If you don't mm. like it, I'm still in the studio. I can do something. But that's just, you know, listen to it. Yeah. I'm like, dude. <laughs> what do you mean? It's what like it? is fire? <laughs> so the initial plan was to get Sakodi on that. Wow. What happened? I was like, it's too fire. I want Sakodi on this. Mm-hmm. And then, as usual, we had trouble getting Sakodi. Wow. Yeah, so I won't get into that. And then the next option from the studio, the guys, at the team, the rest of the guys were like, how about Sampa the Great? Mm. And then I hit up Sampa, just, you know, on her Twitter, I was like, yo, what's up? Want to jump on my song? She's like, yeah, I'm a huge fan. Send it. Here's my email. Sent her the stuff. And like a week down the line, she sent it back. She sent her vocals. Interesting. Yep. And <laughs> yo, there's so many great songs in this one. Greatness, we're trying team. That you know, how did it work? The joining of verses. How did you record that then? Yeah, same night I recorded um, "Talk My Speed." Mm-hmm. Talk my speed with uh, my son's uncle, Money. who wasn't actually there. It, <laughs> was What's going on? So he likes sending me voice notes. My son sends me a lot of voice notes oh. every day. He sends me, "Hi, daddy. How you doing?" <laughs> you know, tell me what he's doing. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> so many VNs from his number, uh-huh. and I just started say, yeah, selecting Kobe. Mm. Yo, Kobe, can we get this in the song? And Kobe just goes to filters, mm. checks out what works, what doesn't, mm. and then we used he put the same VNs, mm. put them up properly, and yeah. So the night I was recording "Talk My Spit" mm-hmm. is the night uh, we we had to do the song with Father. So he came through. That was around nine. I think came through. I didn't give him the beat. I didn't play him the song. I just told him come through. I want you to hear something, and I played him the beat. Miles mm. played him the beat. Miles and Kobe mm. in the studio, <clears throat> and I explained to him I want to go back and forth with you. I know this is a suicide note. I'm yeah. writing. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do cafe. But um, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to die, bro. <laughs> Take my life. That was dope, though. And yeah, we that was dope. We did that song. That was dope. We need more of that from you. Like, you know, the people no keep hop. No we doubt. get it. No and who linked you with Lanji? Lanji is Alicia Long, actually. For real? So, I'll tell you some something about that song. The, both songs with Lanji. Mm. She recorded that, both verses, the hook and the verse. And the same thing. The night before we dropped Mother Town. No. Yeah. <laughs> Wake me up. <laughs> so, yeah. No. So I recorded four verses. No. The night, like, to, we had announced tomorrow, Friday, it's coming, which the night before, Thursday night, that was around one. No. Midnight. Way. I recorded the verse on the sample, the great song. I recorded um, 
the whole song, the full song of uh, Kuwaya, uh, e. both verses. Um, mm. I also recorded, um, uh, I think I can't remember the other song. There was a night before the release. The night before, I had to do four so verses. Sorry, why? Because they just, somebody just woke up, thank you H, just woke up and said, <laughs> yes, we put this in this in this song, we'll remove these songs. So now they weren't done. And it was like, okay, the only, the only song I knew I had to put a verse on was the Sound of the Grey. Mm-hmm. So we had Lanji come over as well. She mm-hmm. waited, I think, for three hours before wow. she could start. Patience, she's, she's guys. Very chilled. She's a very chilled girl. She's, she is, she is. And she caught on very quick, um, you know, the initial. So Alicia brought Lanji to the studio because mm-hmm. I had been telling him I wanted a girl mm-hmm. who would do this and that and that. Mm-hmm. Um, so the song she's on, Take You Back. Yeah. Alicia originally sang that, but I, there was going to be too much Alicia on the album. Oh, okay. So I was like, can you sing the re sing? She just yeah. re sang that. And the other stuff wow. as well. The wife here, yeah, we quickly scribbled some stuff for her, and she. And it, it. it sounded as though she recorded that man because she was so nonchalant and she killed Oh no, she killed it. it. She, killed, she I, killed it. She did it the night before the album came out. Interesting. Which was your favorite song of the album? I don't know. Nah, uh, I no. Really don't know. That's not true. It would be I enjoyed making Mother Tongue. Okay. Greatness. Mm-hmm. Um, because you know, these collabs I had the, pe- the actual people in this. I was with them in the studio. In the studio, okay. Yeah, it wasn't like, no, I'll send you vocals and what. I enjoyed mm. making every song with Elisha Long. Mm. Elisha Long. Shout I'll out. I'll tell man. you right now, he's a hard worker, man. That boy is a pusher. For real? And he's been making music for a while. Interesting. So, hey, it was great. Every song that I recorded with Alicia and Josie was mm-hmm. fire because they were we were in the studio together. The, the vibe was there. The vibe, you change this in the morning, you wake up, I wrap it up, let's start again. So it was fun. Also the greatness song with Thaga, mm-hmm. because it was actually like every time he does a line, you're all waiting like, okay, let's hear what he's about to do. Uh, so, yeah. That and the mother tongue song as well with Dave. Mm, we had a gas. Dope. Yeah. That's dope. Um on is it track number four? Teddy. I was surprised when I heard it's the Kalandanya music promotion. Yeah. I'm like, wait, hold up, what's happening? Yep. Are you also part of the movement? Yes I am. Oh, why did you decide I'm to actually you're one of the newest members? Are you serious? Yep. So how is this gonna work now? Kalandanya XYZ. So Kalandanya is like a parent company. Okay. Yeah, Kalandanya, they have the capacity. Mm. Um, theirs is just to take Zambian music outside Zambia. Mm. That's their goal. So you see, what we've done is we've hit the ceiling. Mm-hmm. We've done everything we can in Zambia. Mm. We've done it all, man. Mm-hmm. But we've hit the ceiling. Mm-hmm. We need to go out. There. True. That's what Kalandanya is here to do. Nice. Basically, they they just wanna, you know. For a long time, mm. um, nobody's pumping music, money into the music industry. Mm. And I'm saying money from their pocket. Mm. This man took out, I don't even know how to say this, but you know, millions and millions to help a lot of artists come nice. together. It's not even about XYZ, Kopala, mm. what? Everyone as a group, we're all going together. Nice. And so basically, um, that's the boss company. And we'll work with whoever wants to take us there, man. Right. And I'm, I know you as a guy who just doesn't jump on anything. I'm sure you yeah. had to deliberate, like, really, really Yeah, definitely, this. definitely. Download the My Ride Taxi app, available both on the Google Play Store and Apple's App Store, and get your desired ride in real time, or schedule your ride at the desired date and time. Easier faster, safer. Choose from a variety of rides depending on your need and budget. Premium ride, if you want luxury, class and style. Or take a standard ride and still get there. Are you in a hurry or low on cash? Use my ride app. We can go on and on and on. I think, I know for a fact that we're going to come back on this show. Definitely. After watching this video, you're like, oh shit, I know you've had a good time. Yeah. Probably one of your too best much, interviews. Too much. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Thank you so much. It. I'm looking forward to hosting more XYZ members. Thank yeah, you, of please. course. So, um, what what are we expecting from you? More music, uh, okay. bigger things. Mm-hmm. Um, 
more collabs, mm-hmm. international collabs. Okay. Um, since we're done with the local side this year, <laughs> <laughs> next year will be big with international collabs. Yeah, nice. I trust yeah. you when you say that. So All the best. I don't have to say this. everybody that's been supporting the movement. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't take anything for granted. It's respect, salute, God bless. Yeah. Speaking about God bless, guys, thank you so much to Cook and Boo for giving us this space. You guys need to check it out. It's by Twin Pamo. I was with the king. That's why they allowed the cat. Just <laughs> Come in, just come in. <laughs> Remember to subscribe, like, you know what time it is. It's elevating the industry. Bye, honeys. <laughs>